What's up YouTubers? It's Officer Manning again and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be speaking with one of our sergeants in charge of our special investigations unit. We're going to see what Sergeant Stuck has for us today and uh, he's been around a while. He's got just about every certification known to man as far as law enforcement goes. So all around good solid dude. So let's go talk to Sergeant Stuck and see what he's got for us. Here with Sergeant John Stuck. Uh, we're going to be talking with him a little bit today. He's just going to give us uh, a little rundown of what he does here for the police department. So, good to see you, brother. Thank you. Uh, to start off by just telling everyone your name and where you're from. Uh, Sergeant John Stuck. I am from Carter Lake, Iowa. And how long have you been with the department? 20 years. 20 years. Been here a long time. What's your position in the department currently? My position now is I'm uh, supervising the Special Investigations Unit. Okay. And what else do you do for the, uh, the PD? Uh, help and instruction in uh, defensive tactics, um, the lead de defensive tactics instruction for the department. Um, also, the uh, assist in high threat CQB, uh, close quarters combat is what, uh, or battle for, uh, for what that means. And then uh, vehicle CQB, so uh, vehicle or close quarters battle. Um, firearms instructor, uh, patrol rifle instructor. Uh, do a lot of the other side stuff with that instruction on some of the other things that we need assistance on with new and current officers. All right. And you teach at the academy as well too? Uh, yes. Okay. And uh, I know you guys do a lot of different things, especially with uh, different task force and whatnot. So can you talk about some of the things you do like on the FBI side of things? Um, currently we have uh, four different task force up in our unit. Uh, three of the guys up in our unit are on the FBI Safe Streets Task Force. Um, what that involves with, we deal with all kinds of issues. It could be anywhere from dealing with bank robberies, um, assisting with bank robberies and surveillance, going out and finding the people on bank robberies, doing the investigations on bank robberies, anything that deals with violent crime uh, that the FBI gets jumped to, which bank robberies is high up on their list. And what are the task forces is the Bellevue Police Department part of? So what other task force do we have that's attached to, the, or Bellevue Police Department is attached to um, that you're kind of supervising? So, so we have, Three other task force, three total task force in my unit alone, and then the fourth up in the general crimes area too. But we also assist with all of them. So the, the task force that are up with us is, like I just mentioned, the FBI Safe Streets Task Force. We got the United States Marshals uh, Fugitive Unit. Um, what their job entails is they basically, uh, one of the guys that are in our unit is assigned to the Fugitive Unit, and they will go around and they'll just basically hunt fugitives everywhere. Um, they actually get deputized like I am um, through the U.S. Marshals. You know, actual deputization. What we can do is we're case specific, so we can literally go all over the U.S. to work cases, uh, make arrests uh, on the federal level, and do any type of investigations as a task force officer. The fugitive unit and the marshal service; those units are basically go out every single solitary day, and all they do is hunt the, the fugitives. Now we're talking not the fugitives who are you know who are going away from a misdemeanor speeding ticket. We're talking about the ones that have committed homicides. Um, fugitives, uh, high level crimes, rapes, uh, the murders, obviously we just mentioned that, right. um, child molestations, those type of deals, they hunt them down and they go and find them. That's just all they do is go out every single day and, and, and do that. Uh, the other one is the DEA task force, so the Drug Enforcement Agency task force. Right. So we have a deputized uh, detective in there. Uh, basically he works out at the DEA and assists them with all the drug enforcement cases from here all the way down to Mexico to California to New York. Um, we pretty much don't go with anywhere within the United States and work cases. Um, what that gives us is a broad range of uh, uh, agencies that we're connected to and also the assets and the availability of all kinds of extra monies from the federal government to assist us on any other type of case that we need for equipment, uh, overtime, vehicles, um, uh, all those type of things. Okay, so this is a case that we've been working back in uh, a few years back uh, with obviously not giving a ton of details about it. but. 
We were involved in the uh, seizure and collection of three pounds, about almost three and a half pounds of methamphetamine right here. As you can see up here close here what it looks like. Um, you get these large chunks of rocks up up here. This, is, this stuff is straight from Mexico. To kind of give you a history, since when I first started in narcotics, um, almost 15 years ago, I uh, started working the cases. Um, to buy a pound of methamphetamine was almost unheard of. And the cost of one pound of methamphetamine when I first started was uh, anywhere from 18 to 20,000. Now your purity, le purity level back then would have been roughly around 80 to 85 percent. So, but now you can buy a pound of this methamphetamine right here. Um, and it's about 95, right in there, 93 to 95% purity level. And the cost of this is anywhere from, we bought it from anywhere from 2,900 to 3,500. That's how much the price has gone down on this. So, and this stuff comes, a lot of people, what they'll tell you is, they'll, you know, they, they, a lot of the public think this comes from labs, but that's not true. This stuff comes from Mexico. This is, this is, this is coming from Mexico. This is where the majority of our methamphetamine comes. It's coming across the borders. Um, and it's, it's getting across the border pretty easily. I mean, the guys are working their butts off down there to get it, but um, there's different, several different ways that they're trying to bring this stuff over. And it's here in the Midwest. And it's very big here in the Midwest because we're actually kind of a major of a, of a hub. You've got several of the, the train yards down in either Grand Island or here where these things will come into. Um, and, and they'll come here to major hub and then they'll spread out to other locations. So we've gotten up to loads of 50 pounds of methamphetamine in the area, um, in the Omaha metro area, but this is just kind of show you that here, here in little old Bellevue, we get, there's three pounds of methamphetamine right there. Where back in the day, that would have been, you know, to buy this at the pound level is 60,000. But don't forget, when people tell you the prices, when they break it down, um, you could break it down to, you know, when people are buying teeners and balls, and you gotta remember they stomp on it. And what that means by stomping on it is they put a little bit of additives in there to take the purity level away so they can make more money off it. So with, with that being said, I mean, this this right here, you can break this down and sell it to ounces. So there's 16 ounces in a pound, so you do the math. Um, and you could sell those those ounces right there from, depending on what you stomp on it and break a, break one ounce in almost into two ounces right there. Um, so you just took your purity level down to about 50%, uh, which this stuff is so cheap right now, you're seeing at the lower levels that they're not breaking and stomping it down hardly at all. I mean, the purity level now at the low levels when I first started back in Narcotics 2 to give you an idea what is anywhere from um, 20 to 30 percent would be down at the ounce level. We're getting down at that level now still around 70 to 80 percent which is that's pretty high for that low level because it's so cheap to get right now. What are some of the other duties and responsibility of each task force? I know you kind of talked a little bit about it um, previously but if you can kind of expand on some of the responsibilities and duties of some of these task force officers. The biggest thing is, is each one is assigned to specific and sometimes there's this crossover. So we'll give like the, the future task force. If we get a large scale drug operation, which we've worked here in the past, um, and we get several individuals on there that uh, we want to go after, the fugitive unit, we'll get a hold of them and they'll assist us. And basically what they'll do is they'll do backgrounds on each one of them. Now I can't display obviously all the reasons and sure, things that they sure. do for backgrounds, but they go through and they ba find out backgrounds and find out where these people are and they hunt them down and they go find them and make the arrests. Um, so there's a lot of crossover between the different agencies. Um, I mean, I didn't even talk about, we work with ATF uh, quite frequently. We also work with the Homeland Security, um, HSI. So we're also in tight with them um, when it comes to a lot of the cases that we work. We work with uh, the Border Patrol, we work with uh, ICE, um, which is HSI right now on the investigation side. But we'll do um, the cases and coordinate with the other agencies to assist us in, in getting whatever assets we need. We just don't coordinate and just sit here and look at this stuff inside of Bellevue. Um, we'll find out when we start a case, maybe we'll start it in Bellevue and move it into Omaha. And then maybe if we start a case in Omaha, we'll move it into Bellevue. Right? There's always crossover, so we're always working with each other. With the FBI, we can go a lot of ways with different other stuff. I mean, we work from murders. We just got done working a case involving a guy involved in several murders. Uh, we work cases that involved with uh, um, human trafficking side. I mean, we work with that side of the house too. So there's a wide spectrum that we do with the FBI and duties there. All right, there it is, you guys. Uh, Sergeant John Stuck just gave us a ton of information on what they do and a little bit about him and his unit. So. Um, as always, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.